it's a juvenile justice week of faith that's being done all across the state, um, different denominations and different faiths using this particular week to focus on the problems of youth and particularly those uh, young people who get involved in the juvenile system. And we had a, I thought, an extraordinary discussion. Mm -hmm. I tried to think of a number of different people from different perspectives uh, who could talk about the problems of youth who are at risk and their mental health issues, and drug issues, and education problems, and the way in which the legal system works. And I, I thought we were able to touch on some of the most important aspects mm -hmm. of the challenges of uh, youth at risk and juvenile justice today. Mm -hmm. The church as a community can act as a restorative justice center to um, repair broken relationships. I would hope that members of other religious communities, people of good faith, people who don't practice any faith, would, would see the usefulness in creating safe communities for our young people in which to grow up, for teaching them, for holding one another accountable, for modeling good behavior, and when something is broken, when a relationship is broken, when a wrong or injustice occurs, for being willing to confront the wrong or the injustice and reconcile the relationships in the context of our communities. A lot of high schools and middle schools even have uh, resource officers, which are police department officers who are quickly called in to defuse um, any sort of discipline issue. It used to be kind of dealt with just at the school site, but now it will often end up with a citation to court or a ticket based on, you know, maybe being accused of battery when there's a school fight or something like that. Um, Camp Gonzalez is a high-risk juvenile offender camp. Usually the kids that come there are from 16 to 18. Some of them have their 18th or 19th birthday there. So most of the kids that are at Gonzales are high-functioning kids, which means that they're with structure and direction. They're able to gain their GED high school, and some of them possibly obtain scholarships to colleges at the camp. The kids at this camp have also been through at least three other camp programs which means that they have been involved in gangs and drugs, most of them probably since the age of 12. Our system has changed so, so that young people under the age of 18 can be tried as adults and they can get every adult sentence there is short of the death penalty. So that means that there are a number of young people involved in gangs uh, who get convicted of first degree murder then get a variety of life sentences. Life without chance of parole is one um, or very high number of years, 55 to life, 100 years to life and so forth. You have to be at least 16 to be able to get life without chance of parole role and you have to be at least 14 to be tried as an adult so actually from the age 14 on you can get some form of life sentence. Mm -hmm. It's so important that people who have good healthy faith communities are able to reach out to our young people and mentor them, engage with them and help them grow into the full human beings God is calling each of them to become.